money buy you happiness? Can happiness be quantified? Well, these questions have been debated for a long time and we are excited to explore it with you all today. If you found out an answer to this question, let us know in the comment section below. If not, then let's dissect this topic together. Though we agree that there is a correlation between money and happiness, but we also know that after a certain income level, more money does not necessarily equate to more happiness. This is because happiness is a complex emotion and hence cannot be solely attributed to just one factor. Research by social scientists reveal that spending money on experiences such as travel or hobbies has been shown to increase happiness more than spending money on material possessions. Let's now discuss how does money provide us with happiness. Money can reduce stress and provide a sense of financial security and stability in our overall well-being and hence can contribute to overall happiness. It can also buy us things that bring joy such as gadgets, toys, cosmetics, books, etc. In World Happiness Index, we see that 91% of the high-income countries are happiest while 75% of low-income countries were least happy. But this is not all of it. In research by Yugo, urban Indians tilted more towards happiness than being rich if given a choice. Happiness, according to it, was derived from the community and personal relationships. It also said that status takes an upper hand beyond a certain level of income. However, it is not always positive. The pursuit of money can also lead us to negative consequences such as stress, anxiety and even addiction. It is thus important to find a balance between pursuing financial goals and maintaining a financial mindset. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.